Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's Marisa. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You joining and welcome everybody. So, what are we doing today? I am back at again with the Arteza uh, new pouring acrylics. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video. So the last video, and I'll link it here, I basically just used uh, these paints. And no water, no silicone, no pouring medium, nothing. Okay, and I came out really nice. It is actually uh, drying, so um, it's still wet. So I don't have a full gauge of how it dries but I do in a way because I did this little guy buying all those bottles yesterday and it did dry um, more matte than the artist loft. The artist loft are kind of cool. That's what I like about the artist loft. It's that it has this kind of very plastic I don't know gelatinous very shiny and glossy finish. I love that but I do like matte. This is more a satin finish, I want to say. Okay, it's kind of like in between. Which is very pretty as well. So, today I am going to do an experiment. And I am going to add some Tri-Art uh, liquid glass pouring medium to these guys. Okay? So... These are already mixed already, and I'm going to show you how much pouring medium I put in. And I did not forget, I am still going to do a video on me mixing. Uh, usually, I already come to you kind of already mixed uh, my paints, pouring medium, silicone, because it is a little bit of a, it can be a tedious process, but for beginners, um, and I am grateful to the channels that actually took the time to do really beginner beginner pouring methods because and all the mixing because otherwise i wouldn't have known how to do it again i'm an artist but i don't know how to do that so um yeah so these are the colors the gold we got black we got a uh, brilliant red and we got um ultramarine blue Okay, I didn't mix the ultramarine blue yet, but here is the brilliant red. Here is, this is Mars black. And here is the gold. Okay, so this is how much I poured in. Just enough, whoops, just enough to like coat the bottom. So here we go. Just a little bit. That's it. I don't know exactly how much that is, but I'm going to do a little more. That's it. Okay. Just to see, just to test it and extend the paint a little bit. And then here we go. All right, that's about as much as I have, uh, a little more. Okay, that's about as much as I have in the other cups. And boop. All right, I'm holding my camera, so, but I would be stirring this a lot, a lot more. But this is my left hand and I'm a righty, so, you know, let me do this. Eh, it doesn't make it, I gotta hold the cup. Anyway, you get the idea. I stir it really, really, really well, and then I stir it some more, and I stir it some more. Okay? And then if I'm pre-mixing paints, sometimes I do it at night uh, before I go to sleep for the next day, for the next uh, day's video, or just, you know, if I feel like getting ahead and I'm mixing up some paints. Like I said, I did buy these bottles back there. They have little uh, tips for caps to keep out air. But if I want to mix in cups, let's say if I'm doing a video and I want to 
mix my paints beforehand. I uh, use these guys right here, the little plastic cups, and I just stick it on top like that. And that's it. I take the little stick out first and stick it on top, and they're good. Um, I mean, I haven't really waited more than a day to use them, but um, basically uh, the paints... Uh, don't change whatsoever. They're not hard. Nothing gets inside of them. And then what I do is I just stir it again and I adjust anything before I actually do any pouring. Okay? So those are the colors we're using. This is the pouring, pouring medium we're using. And we're going to see how this Arteza um, works with the uh, Triart uh, liquid glass. All right? So stick around. And next up is the pour. All right, guys, see you in a sec.
guys, I am back. Oh, wow. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. And I love you. I think these are called pipettes. Um, this is very cool. I love just kind of like being free with it. And just adding a little more color where I want to in very specific areas. But at the same time, just kind of like wherever the paint goes, it goes. Uh, these colors are gorgeous. Uh, when I did torch it, the gold kind of popped out a little more. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I saw like the, I saw like almost like the chemical reaction with the heat and the paint. Um, it was like really amazing. So I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad. Good. So this is really beautiful. So far, I have nothing wrong to say about these paints, um, but I will come back in the next video and show you how these dried because, uh, you know, I don't know, like right now it looks great, um, but as we all know, or if you don't know, I'm telling you, after things dry, you know, due to temperature, um, different chemicals, like, you know, this pouring medium with this paint, it could have a bad reaction. Uh, I can come back tomorrow or later tonight and see all kinds of cracks, and it can look horrible. But right now, it's gorgeous. Um, I love it. I love the texture. Uh, and it was a little li more, definitely more liquidy um, with the triart, obviously, because this paint, you're not supposed to use anything. They're trying to make, basically, their, or Tez's point is they're trying to make it easy. They try to make it easy for you so you don't have to add anything to it because, you know, we all add this and that and this and that, and they just want to be like, just pour and have fun. And I get that. Um, but, you know, we like, at least I personally, and I know a lot of other artists, fluid artists out there, like to experiment. So, of course, I'm going to still add stuff anyway, but I definitely didn't have to add a lot. So I think I put a little bit too much pouring medium in. It was uh, a little bit too fluid, but it was it still worked. You know, it didn't like slide off the canvas or anything like that. Um, it stayed on because I did use on another one of my videos, and I don't even know which one it was. Some of the paint was like slipping off. It was bad, but this it was nice, and the lines did get broken a little bit, like in the other painting I did yesterday. You know, uh, the lines kind of like stayed within itself. It did mix up a little bit, but it's really pretty. But there is some, you know, beautiful texture in here. It's very subtle. And then that little movement, it kind of stayed where, it, where I wanted it to. So this is really beautiful. So I'm really, really, really happy with it. So let me know what you think. But I am definitely going to come back and show you how it dried. And I'm going to show you um, how the other one dried that I did yesterday with just the Arteza. So I will compare them. I'll come back tomorrow, compare them. Uh, the one with TriArt. Uh, uh, liquid glass, uh, and like I said, no water, no silicone, and you, like I said in the other video, do not add water to this paint. It will crack, definitely. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give me a little thumbs up, give it a little like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think think. I love talking to you guys. Um, it really brightens up my day. I love connecting with you, you know, all over the world. That I love. I think that's wonderful. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.